Hello everybody, my name is Sarah. Welcome to Kids Following Jesus. Now have you ever gone fishing? So there are many ways to fish. Most of us probably are familiar with using a rod and a reel for fishing, but some people put out a line with hooks. Some people use nets. There's all kinds of different ways to fish. Now have you ever gone out fishing all day and caught nothing? Or maybe you got about 30 minutes into catching nothing and decided, nah, I'm not that into fishing. Well, there are, just as there are today, people who fish for a living, back in Jesus's time, there were also men who fished as their job. Now, there are some men in particular, and they had been out all night long, and they had caught nothing. So they're at the shore and they're cleaning up their equipment and they're preparing to go home. And Jesus arrives at the shoreline. Now Jesus is being followed by many people because he's very popular at this time. He's teaching and healing and so people are gathering around him. And as he comes to the men, he asks one of them, Simon, to take him out on his boat. And while he's out on the boat, he teaches all the people on the shoreline. And after he's finished his teaching, he turns to Simon and he tells Simon, put those nets back in the water. Now we're going to turn in our Bibles to Luke chapter 5, and we're going to read verses 5 through 11, and we'll find out the rest of the story. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught a large number of fish. There were so many that their nets began to break. So they motioned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees. Go away from me, Lord, he said, I am a sinful man. He and everyone with him were amazed at the number of fish they had caught. So were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who worked with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch people. So they pulled their boats up on shore. Then they left everything and followed him. So at the end, Jesus tells them that they're now going to fish for people. I mean, what does that mean? Does that mean they're going to go put hooks in people? No, of course not. What it means is now they are going to be the ones responsible for telling other people about Jesus. Now Jesus asks ordinary people to be his disciples, and I think he does that to help remind us that we, ordinary people, are also his disciples. And each of us needs to share the love of God and Jesus with others. Okay, everyone, let's take time to pray together. Dear God, thank you for your teachings, and thank you for asking us to be fishers of men. Help us share Jesus with others. Amen. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be back next week with more Kids Following Jesus.